Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Retro and welcome back to episode 2 of Advanced Warfare Tips and Tricks. I could, bitch, I bet I would. On the low, what's up with you ho? Bitch, you smoking dro. Bitch, you know, bust like 44 when I spit that flow cuz we go for this episode of Tips and Tricks, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can consistently win your gunfights, and I have a few different suggestions on how you can uh, do so. So, uh, my first suggestion is to use Focus and Exomute. Focus is uh, reduces your sway when you're being shot at, so say you're in the middle of a gunfight and somebody else is shooting at you and getting hit markers on you, and you're shooting back, your gun, will, uh, your gun won't pop up as much and uh, it, you'll basically be able to stay in the uh, gunfight. And Exo Mute, you just basically want to use that to run around, and so the uh, enemies cannot use their headsets to uh, hear you boosting around and all that with the Exo Suits. So uh, yeah, for num my number two is uh, stay on the outside of the map, meaning having map awareness. Uh, so don't, don't always like, for every player in Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty in general, we mainly play objective, so you don't want to be the player to like run to the middle of the map and just start trying to kill everybody. If you're trying to get streaks and streak up, uh, stay up, stay on the outside of the map. Just run around, keep I don't know, keep doing circles or just stay in a specific area, just rotating back and forth, picking up kills, and uh, that that'll increase your chances of doing whatever you're trying to do. For for instance, getting uh, kill streaks. Uh, number three, use scavenger. This is this is. Uh, this is debatable. It depends if you want to or not. You can either use that or extend the mag. But a scavenger is just there so you don't. So every time you kill an enemy, say you run out of ammo in your weapon and you don't want to pick up somebody else's sniper with an ACOG sight. Uh, so yeah, make sure to use scavenger so you can just pick up ammo as you go and you're killing people around the map. Uh, number four, we I have uh, movement. But what I mean by this is make sure to drop shot and jump. This is very vital. So say you're in a uh, in a gunfight, and uh, you you probably already know you're gonna die because they got first shot. If you double boost jump into the air and shoot them while while still in the gunfight, you'll probably have the better advantage of winning that, even if they get first shot. Same thing with drop shot. If you round a corner and somebody's there and they got first shot, you might have more advantage drop shotting than you will just stand in there and let them kill you. Uh, number five, I have. I have to not not like run around corners and sprint you don't want to get caught sprinting because then most of the time you will lose a gunfight unless you get some lucky timing or whatever but uh, make sure just to pre pre aim around the corners and uh, yeah and last but not least I have pre fire so say you're you're in like a in a gunfight with the two or three people and then you finally go to reload just uh, pre take take like the extra two seconds just to make a prediction where you think another guy might be and just pre-fire that for like two to three seconds and you might pick up a kill you might not but it's just always there for safety and makes you look good as a player uh yeah and with that being said uh you can also say you're like getting in a bunch of gunfights you can uh reload quicker by double pressing x on the xbox controller or and i believe it's square on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 controllers. If you double press that quickly, it will reload your gun faster. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Make sure to drop a like as it really does help me out a lot. And make sure don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video.